Hi there, this is Alejandro and on this tutorial we will create an interactive experience like the one that you can see here when I hover on the middle sphere, all the other spheres move away. So this is actually a quite simple experience and we will just go and see how you can do it. The first thing is to create a sphere. So let's just remove this and let's create our sphere here. And now let's reset its position. We will also disable the grip and the snapping because we don't need those right now. Uh, let's make this sphere a little smaller. So what we can do now is I am going to change the color of this sphere and also disable the lighting layer. I will also change the background, something like that. Now what we need is some other spheres that are going to be surrounding this. So I'm going to first just create um, a couple of them, right? What I want is to orient these spheres in a way that the Y axis is always pointing towards the outside. Let's do that, right? Just going to need to move this and then I'm going to orient this sphere like this. Oops. Then like this. Yeah. So if we look at things from the front now, it looks like it's actually coming from the direction or the orientation of the surface, right? So I need to do now the same with these other spheres. And it seems like we're ready. By the way, if you if you want to make a small sphere while maintaining the position here on the surface, what you can do is that you can hold shift and then you can press on this handle here and it will make the sphere small, but it will stay there in the surface of this sphere. All right, so now uh, the next step is to create a material that kind of like looks as if it is receiving life from this sphere in the center. So let's select this object. Let's click here on the four dots and then let's create a new material asset. And this is going to be um, mini spheres, right? So let's just put there mini spheres. And now we can choose start editing the color of these materials. I'm going to remove the color here and instead I'm going to use a depth layer. I'm going to disable the lighting because I don't need that and instead what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a gradient. Um, so this is going to be a world gradient so we will put the position of this gradient in zero because that's the position that our main sphere has. So everything is on the zero. You can see already it's like the sphere is receiving a little bit of light. So let's reset our view. And now we can just um, change the color of this. And I'm going to use actually the background color um, because that's very similar to what we need. And then we put it there and then we can make sure here that we are using um, a color that is a similar from the sphere in the middle so i'm using the color picker for for that and now i'm going to increase the radius of this just a little bit and now i want this color to actually to be darker um just a little darker maybe a little more kind of like like that yeah and let's also use a smooth and let's increase um the inner radius so it looks a lot more like it's you know meeting there and another thing that i can do is i'm going to have like a snail layer and i'm going to use the overlay more and reduce the bias a little so maybe i can also reduce the opacity it could be something like this so what the first nail layer is doing is adding this, this little rim here that makes it feel more like a sphere, right? So the sphere will be moving like this, right? You can see here that it's already kind of working the way that we want. But I want them when they move away, I want the spheres to be darker. First, let's just uh, select our other spheres and use the same material that we just created. You can see, <laughs> kind of looks in the direction that we want. But now let's create another depth layer. So I'm just going to right click and duplicate this one. I want to 
use a darker color so i'm going to create here something that goes perhaps more like from this color to a darker color yeah maybe something along the lines right um something like that this one is gonna be transparent right and um, the outer edge of this it should be something like this right so we want this to be when you move away from it right so now if you if you move this sphere away you can see that it's getting darker okay so now that we have our basic materials what we need to build is our custom logic now let me just correct this a little bit here because this is kind of like um it's intersecting too much with the sphere okay that's better um, so what we want is that we want well, when we hover on this sphere we move all the other spheres so the way in which this works is that i'm going to create an event here and it's going to be a mouse hover event um, instead of moving this sphere i want to move let's say the sphere 2. i'm going to create an state for this sphere here and I'm going to move this sphere to the outside right and now you can see I had two states so now what I want to happen is that when I hover this I move that sphere and then um, it's going to be transitioned into the state one of this sphere right and it's going to be using an is and out and a duration of one so if I play this you can see that it's working already but let's use a sprint transition so it feels more like a bounce animation let's play again the animation and see you can see now it is a lot better right so now what we need to repeat is the same process for all the other shapes right So in order to make the spheres to move in different velocities, what we can add is to include like a delay on the animations. So for example, you can see there's this parameter here for delay. So what we can do is that we can put there, let's say 0.3 on this one. This could have like 0.6 or maybe 0.2. And then this could one could be 0.15. And this other one will be zero. So now if I play this animation again, you can see, yes, because now they have a little delay. So that's perfect because that way it looks a lot more natural not everything is on the same velocity. All right, we need to replicate the, the same process of adding a bunch of new spheres. And on all of these new spheres, we will need to have the same uh, material and the same effect like the same orientation and the same um, kind of like animation that we we have right so all right let's do that all right now that I basically repeated the same process for all the other shapes, if I play this animation and I hover, you can see that they're all moving to the outside. Uh, perhaps something that we can do here is that we can change a little our material. So maybe um, it's more like this, right? And now when I play this, yeah, that looks a little better, I think. So this way it's like it's more contained and we can also adjust a little just a little bit the darkness maybe something like this and we had something like this so now when we play this so it's more soft it's not that hard that's it so that's how you can build an experience like this you can obviously change the color and also you can export this experience and put it on your website or on your custom development project you can also export this as an image yep see you in the next tutorial